Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber, and today I wanted to come on and do part two of my junk journal series. I kind of did part three in there as well because I made all my signatures, picked all my papers out, and then I ended up putting them into the journal. I sewed them in there. So let's start out with a signature that actually didn't make it into my journal just because I thought I would have room for four signatures, but I only had room for three. So this here is a nice fabric paper and it's really interesting to look at. It's kind of like African and it just it just feels really cool. And then I added a doily and then I found out that I had too many holes in my book to add doilies so I didn't put any doilies in there as far as a page. I will put them in there as like accent or embellishments or whatever. And then I chose to leave the blueberry page out because it's purples and blues and my book is turned into being reds and yellows. And then we have a fun scrapbook page. And then I used a typewriter. Um, type, it's actually a typewriter like school book that I found from the secondhand store, another scrapbook page, and then it just flips back the opposite way. So then in the middle you would sew it, um, and then you would just keep it together that way. I had a hard time figuring that out, so I was thankful to have YouTube to help me because I ended up watching quite a few videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at my journal. I used this white and blue one and I used my white duct tape and I sealed the spine I went over it twice to give it a nice sturdy spine. And then as you can tell here, I um, ended up using nine holes per signature. That is way more than what you need you guys. You don't need nine unless you're going to make like a super thick book or you like the way it looks. I, I will never do nine again unless it calls for it. That, that was really hard for me for my first time ever um, even doing any of this. So. Um, yeah, 27 holes, my fingers are killing me. I used a really thick needle, and I don't know if you can tell how thick that threading is there, but it's really thick as well. So I just wanted to give you a flip through of what the journal looks like so far. And I'm so excited. I, I, I just love the way it turned out. I copy dyed all my papers, and these are my scrapbook pages here. I really like this map. I thought it was really fun to add that just for some different... Um, you know, looks. And I like that the back of it had this graph paper and then we'll just cover up this stuff here on the bottom. We'll just put a pocket here and nobody will ever know that was there. I mean, after it's finished. Here is a glossary of terms. I thought that was neat. Some more yellowy paper with some swirly bits on there. Another page with some orchids. And then in the middle of that signature is uh, plants that climb. And I just like the English ivy. I think it's a really pretty plant. And then honeysuckle. I just thought it was an interesting page. I didn't realize that you wouldn't be able to actually like read it, so I decided not to stick any more words in the middle of my signatures, but yeah. I made a lot of, not really mistakes, but just learning curves. So um, like I said, this is my very first attempt, and I think I did quite well um, as far as that goes. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited that um, this actually works, and so far it's holding together. I chose this really neat shoe pattern. I absolutely love this page. So I did copy it into my, I scanned it and copied it onto my computer so I can print it out. This is a scrapbook page and I only had one of it, but I wanted to use it. So I'll be able to print out more, but it won't be as good a quality as that one. Here's some music paper and see how fun those edges look against there. I think that's just so neat. And then we have our yellow paper. And then I thought that would be neat next to some red and greens. It just has like a really nice transition to the eye, I think. And a lot of open space here. You know, you can do a lot of decorating. I can add some stamping, you know. We're going to have fun. Here we get to journal and then add some more writing. In the middle of that signature, and we go back to all those greens and yellows. I'm sorry, greens and reds and back into this yellow. And music paper. And then a coffee dyed. And I like how it like basically stained my edges. So I won't have to ink um, any of my edges, uh, or at least very few of them. We'll see if I even do it. And then back to the shoe page, followed by these beautiful daisies. And I thought this kind of looked like a wallpaper or maybe like a fun, you know, greeting card or what have you. And then this is a page that my printer goofed up on. It was like cleaning the ink and it printed it out and I decided to throw it in here. Another glossary page, scrapbook paper, some paper that I dyed with food coloring. I thought that would be a fun little um, experiment. And yeah, it just went bloop. So I did it when it was dry and that's, and then I had to like get it wet and try to smear it around and spread it. It didn't really work, but decided to throw it in here anyways, just for that red. So I ran out of red papers for this signature. Some more writing and then the ink and then the back is daisies. 
So I think everything turned out wonderful. I'm really happy with it. I'm so excited to get to the fun part, which for me is embellishing and decorating. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I don't know if I'm going to cover this cream um, with actual paper or if I'm just going to collage over the front. I was thinking about doing collage on the inside. Um, I just think that would be fun. But I may end up leaving it white just so that it's maybe not as busy. You know, I'm just not sure yet. So thank you guys for um, stopping by and watching this journal come together. I really appreciate it. I hope each and every one of you have a great crafty day. Bye.